In this video, we're going to cover Helix version 3 by eFence, www.efence.com forward slash Helix. Helix version 3 is a live incident response computer forensics and electronic discovery toolkit. Effectively, it allows you to take an ISO or a CD worth of, uh, worth of tools, place it in your, your acquiring or your suspect machine, and acquire a forensic image and some basic system information. On the main dashboard of the, of the suspect machine, once Helix is loaded, you'll see where you can preview system information, acquire a live image, and various different incident response tools. Now on the system information window, it's actually going to give you basic systems information, i.e. the operating system, the owner's name, the organization, whether the owner is logged in as the admin, wherever they have admin rights, the network information, host name, username, IP address, the NIC card's MAC address, and if the system is logged into a domain or not. It's also going to tell you what drive lettering has been assigned, removable or not, its file types, and its size. Now on the second tab, second page of the system information tab, you're going to see the running processes. Now this comes in great use or is very, very useful because now we know as the investigator what processes are running on this computer without actually having to open the task manager or app opening any other application. We can actually go through and see what's in there. Now in the acquisition window, it gives us the ability to actually capture an image directly off of the physical memory of this system. In this case, it's got 512, so we can only imagine what would be actually stored in our clipboard. We can also capture off of the, directly off the hard drive or removable media. Now, we can s those are our locations. Now, we can actually set our destination to actually punch out our DD or our raw image across the network or locally across the network to, say, uh, an external if we have an external hard drive plugged up. We can name the image wherever we'd like. And I think in this case, we're going to go ahead and change the name. We're going to change it to video underscore sample. Now, I always leave it as a DD because we're using uh, FDK imagers, so DD, the raw images are always best to use. The block size you can leave as default unless you want to specify a different size block size. We'll get into that later in an advanced video. The error reporting actually will skip over errors if you run into one, or it will report them inside the log, but the split image option lets us make two images in case our destination media is actually too large. On the next page, you're going to see some information about access data. Um, the link will be in the video notes. Um, so don't worry about that. You'll be able to get uh, the imager and uh, the FTK um, just as the demo versions. The imager, I believe, is free. Now, after this, after we get some basic information, we're going to go into the incident response section. And in the incident response section, we get a very wide range of, of tools that actually come in very useful. Windows Forensics Tool Chest, the First Responder Utility, the Incident Response Collection Report, and Oh, no. And Agile Risk Management, mm, yeah. On the next screen, on page two, you're actually going to see what is by far one of the simplest interfaces for file hashing, the command shell, putty, file recovery, uh, rootkit revealer, no. And we can do screen capture, so we can actually take pictures of things while we're using it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hash a file. And it works just like uh, uh, MD5SUM in Linux or any other operating system, but it generates your... Uh, your file hash. So we can actually say this is pristine, this is what the original hash for this file was. And PuTTY SSH VNC server, in case we just want to put the disk in and actually go somewhere else and do all of this remotely. PC on and off time lets us know the last time the PC was booted up. On page 3 we get the PST password viewer, the mail password viewer, network password viewer, messenger, we get all these password viewers. We can actually go through and browse the Internet Explorer history. We can look at the Mozilla Firefox cookie viewer, registry viewer, USB uh, preview. Now, effectively, it lets us know what this user, it can, we can glean a in-depth profile of where the user visited, what passwords he was using, what USB devices were in there, and so on. The file browser button is just your basic file browser. It allows us to go through and see what files are in what directories. We can look through subdirectories. But I think the best feature of this is the fact that at the bottom here, you click the little radio button for calculate MD file, MD hash on files. 
it automatically generates hashes each time. There's also a picture scanner. We can go through and we can select where we want to go for the pictures. Yeah, let's try my document, see if there's any pictures on this one. Please be patient. It usually does take a minute, but I usually skip over that. Now, my favorite part of this disk is the fact that if you were to reboot the suspect machine, it's going to take you into Helix's live session. Now, the live session for the Helix disk is a Ubuntu 804 variant that effectively lets us run a live, complete operating system in our section. Again, I'm running a virtual machine, so it's going to be a little different. It's going to boot up and it's going to tell you what it's doing. But finally, once it gets in, you're going to, for those of us who are Ubuntu users, you're going to notice a very familiar interface with a few extra tweaks from eFence. Uh, Adepto is the eFence imager. Uh, it runs on the uh, FTK backend. Autopsy is an open source sort of an FTK or forensics toolkit. Your standard hex editor, your standard hash calculator. Um, let's see, you're going to go. Uh, HFS volume browser for, vol for volume browsing. In case is Linen, which allows us to do um, forensics acquisitions inside Linux. Meld diff viewer, which allows us to merge or view the differences between two files. Orf crack or Orf crack um, is a Windows password file cracker um, for allowing us to break the username and password on a Windows system. Registry viewer. Um, let's just view the registries. Retriever, the root quit, the virus scanner, Wireshark, and XFPRot is again a virus scanner. For information on Helix, you can go to my site, charlestendell.com, or email info at charlestendell.com. You can actually find a lot of good information on the Forensics Wiki, so it would be www.forensicwiki.org forward slash index dot php question mark title equals Helix. Don't worry, it'll be in the links. Um, you can go to Helix the site themselves, www.efence.com forward slash Helix, or you can actually download it from charlestendell.com. Um, I'll put the download link up there later. And that is a brief introduction or a brief tour of Helix by Efence. Um, for this and more videos, you can visit www.charlestendell.com or here on the YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button or go ahead and comment and or drop me an email at charles at charlestendell.com.